Hello again, Bear fans. Today we're here with Dos Equis. <clears throat> a beer that um, I heard about years ago and had and was like, mm, okay. And then they have since come up with this brilliant, most interesting man in the world campaign. And they've become much more popular. Um, and, again, congratulations. It's a great ad campaign. But how is the actual beer? Well, today we're going to try their lager. And then later we will try the, the amber, I believe. Um, but you can see there, there's your typical adjunct look um, and your typical adjunct head. Um, and so the question is, is this your typical adjunct flavor? Um, and we shall see. Now this is according to them. I don't know if there's um, um, anything. Nothing much <coughs> of note on the bottle. They tell it there. It's a little more, bit more detailed. <coughs> The most. Um, in fact, the labeling says it is kind of crafty, except for, of course, the green bottle, which again, in most craft brews, you would you would have a dark bottle because that's less likely to skunk. Here again, as we discussed the other day, with so you have a green bottle. Green's not as bad as a clear bottle, but still, you know, not not pre preferred. But let's not quibble. I drink Yunling, and that uses a green bottle. Uh, smell is lager. A little citrus. Not much. In a way, you could almost say it smells like beer. But I think because I'm an American, I'm biased to say what the, the adjunct is what beer tastes like. Because um, when I used to smell it or whatever, when it would get spilled or when I would first have it, that was what it was. It was an adjunct. I'm sure in other countries, you wouldn't feel that way. But... Not bad. Honestly, not bad. Um, lemon, I would say, is there. It's surprisingly fruity. Um, surprisingly so. Um, not bad. can't get much of the malt or corn character or whatever character they're using, but um, mainly the hops, I would assume it's the hops, are predominating. And that, that leads to a um, solid flavor. Um, it's interesting because it's like every other drink is... A, is a little different. You'll have one drink where you're like blah, and another drink like lemon, citrus, good. And so you're I'm very much rotating between blah and oh, that's not bad. Um, and surprisingly good. The citrus is, is a little inhibitory on how fast you drink it. It's a little bitter. But overall, I must say, not bad. Um, and I, I, again, I got this in a, in a variety pack, so I, I'm not f fresh on the cost.
my overall summary on the cost value is if you're at a Mexican place and there's two for one, this is a good choice. Um, if there's a Mexican place and there's no other choices other than Mexican beer, this is a good choice. If you pay the same price as Bud or Yinling, this is a good choice. Um, not a great choice. I mean, again, I would still say there are beers at that price. I would still say there are beers at that price that are, that are better. But this is a decent choice. This is not one where I think you're getting ripped off. If you have to pay more than that Bud or Yinling price, I, I would just go ahead and get Sierra Nevada or Sam Adams. Um, that's my or a German beer. Um, that's my personal, which again, I'll do a German thing. But again, if you can get it for the same price, if everything's, if all things are equal, or you're a Mexican place and it's two for one, um, nothing wrong with that. Um, it's a pleasant drink. It goes down easy, and it goes down nicely. And, and I don't think if you get it, you'll be disappointed and so I, I um, if you like the um, lager style I recommend you try it now again if you're a craft brew one of my craft brew friends um, obviously you know no need this is not going to meet your needs um, while it, it's if you have no other options this may you may be surprised by some of the character. This is not going to have as much flavor as you're used to. Um, but overall, it's not a bad option. And again, much better than what we had yet the other day, which was yesterday in real time. I don't know how it's going to get posted. But, but yesterday we had so, And this is much better than that. It, in fact, is in a very different league than that. And I would recommend drinking this over that, even if there was quite a wide price disparity. And as I asked yesterday, I, I would be curious as to what are the prices in Mexico of these things, and how do these scale? Because again, some of us may go eventually go down to Mexico, and what is the cheap beer there cost, and what does this cost in comparison to that, and what does, say, Budweiser cost in, a, in England, and what is PB, do they have PBR in England, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, anyway, that's all I got, surprisingly decent, um, better than I was expecting, that's all I got. See ya.